Hello students of class 10. This is your advanced mathematics exercise 4.3 uh, type 1. Solve the following equations. Okay. So this one you see. These are not that, that much hard. Solve the following. Solve the following equations. So in here you see first one 3x minus 2y is equals to 2. 9x square plus 4y square is equals to 2. So in here one what I will do from this equation either x value or y value I will take it out and that value I will put it in the second equation. 3x minus 2y is equals to 2. 3x I will send that side. 2y is equals to 2 minus 3x. So this one you see it will become 2y is equals to 3x minus 2. So y is equals to 3x minus 2 by 2. This is our equation 1. Now 9x square plus 4y square is equals to 2. 9x square plus 4, 3x minus 2 by 2, the whole square is equals to 2. This is from equation 1. From equation 1. So this will be 9x square plus 4. 3x minus 2 the whole square by 4 is equals to 2. So this one 9x square plus this one if I break it into formula I will get 9x square minus uh, this one it will be 2 into 3 into 2 to the 4 minus 12x plus 4 is equals to 2 I will get. So this will be 18x square minus 12x plus 4 minus 2 is equals to 0. So this is 18x square minus 12x plus 2 is equals to 0. 2 common 9x square minus 6x plus 1 is equals to 0. So this will be 9x square minus 6x plus 1 is equals to 0. Finished. So now this is the quadratic equation. I will do splitting the middle term. Then this one I will get 9x square minus 3x minus 3x plus 1 is equals to 0. 3x common x minus uh, sorry this is 3x common this will be 3x minus 1 minus 1 common 3x minus 1 is equals to 0 so this one I will get 3x minus 1 is equals to 0 now either either 3x minus 1 equals to 0 or 3x minus 1 equals to 0 so from here I will get x is equals to 1 by 3 x is equals to 1 by 3 okay now I will take this one okay now this one y is equals to I will put the value of x here 3 into 1 by 3 minus 2 by uh, 2 this will be y equals to 1 minus 2 by 2 this will be y equals to minus 1 by 2 okay in here you write now when x equals to 1 by 3 okay when x equals to 1 by 3 y equals to minus 1 by 2 Again, again, when x equals to 1 by 3, the same only but then also we will have to write. When x equals to 1 by 3, y equals to, again, 3 into 1 by 3 minus 2 by 2, y equals to 1 minus 2 by 2, y equals to minus 1 by 2. Understand? So, therefore, I will write, therefore, the required, therefore, the required solution, therefore, the required solution of the two uh, therefore the uh, you write therefore the required solutions are okay therefore the required solutions are 1 by x minus 1 by 2 okay uh, uh, sorry uh, this one one group I will make understand x and y solution one group I will make x equals to 1 by 3 x equals to minus 1 by 2 so 1 by 3 comma minus 1 by 2 understand and again one group I will make uh, x equals to 1 by 3 x equals to 1 by 3 then y equals to minus 1 by 2 so therefore the required solutions um, uh, uh, required solutions of the given equations are this and this okay so this is only technique from the first equation one variable I will take it out and in the second equation I will put the uh, I will put the value of that variable.
Understand? Then I will get a quadratic equation. Uh, in here, I took out the value of y and that value of y I put it in the second equation. So I got a quadratic equation 9x square minus 6x plus 1 is equals to 0. In here I will find the value of x. Okay. So after that I will put uh, this one. X value I got. Now y value I will take it out. When x equals to 1 by 3 y equals to minus 1 by 2. And again when x equals to 1 by 3 y equals to minus 1 by 2. So therefore the required solutions are this one x y one group i will make and again x y another group i will make okay next i am going to question number two x minus y plus two is equals to zero x square plus y square is equals to hundred okay now again in here you see x minus y plus two is equals to zero so this is um, x minus y equals to minus two minus y is equals to minus 2 minus x so this one uh, y equals to x plus 2 i will get finished this is our equation one now i will take this one x square plus y square is equals to 100 so this is x square plus x plus 2 the whole square is equals to 100 from equation one and then this will be x square plus x square plus uh, 4x plus 4 is equals to 100. 100. 2 common I will take x square plus 2x plus 2 equals to 100. x square plus 2x plus 2 equals to 50. x square plus 2x plus 2 minus 50 is equals to 0 x square plus 2x minus this one it will be 48 is equals to 0 understand this one it will be 48 now 48 2 24 2 12 2 6 2 3 3 1 3 to the 6 6 to the 12 uh, 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 3 to the 6 so in here x square plus 8x minus 6x minus 48 is equals to 0 this is splitting the middle term, okay. x plus 8 minus 6 common, x plus 8 is equals to 0. This will be x minus 6, x plus 8 is equals to 0. So in here either x minus 6 is equals to 0 or x plus 8 is equals to 0. So x is equals to 6, x is equals to minus 8. Now, now when when x equals to 6 one value of x 6 i am getting another value of x minus 8 i am getting so when x equals to uh, 6 okay when x equals to 6 y is equals to 6 x plus 2 y how much i will get 8 again when x equals to minus 8 y equals to minus 8 plus 2 y equals to minus 6 i will get so therefore the required solutions therefore the required solutions are are this one it will be when x is 6 y is 8 so 6 comma 8 when x is minus 8 y is minus 6 minus 8 comma minus 6 let me check the back answer so this one 6 8 minus 8 minus 6 this one Okay, now next I will go to question number 3. Question number 3 you see. This is x plus y is equals to 8, x square plus y square is equals to 50. So in here solution, x plus y is equals to 8, y is equals to 8 minus x. This is equation 1. Now x square plus y square is equals to 50. So x square plus 8 minus x the whole square is equals to 50. This one you can write from equation 1. Understand from equation 1. This is x square plus 8 square minus 2 into 8 into x plus x square is equals to 50. This is ultimately 2x square minus 16x plus 64 is equals to 50. 
So in here 2x square minus 16x plus 64 minus 50 is equals to 0. So this is 2x square minus 16x plus 14 is equals to 0. 2 common here x square minus 8x plus 7 is equals to 0. So x square minus 8x plus 7 is equals to 0 I am getting here. Finished. This one 4, 1. Okay, 8 to the 16. Uh, okay, everything correct there. This one 8 is a, it will be 64. Finished. Now this one equation I got. Uh, now in here. So you see. Uh, let me write this equation one more time in the next piece. What I got x square minus 8x plus 7 is equals to 0. Yes, this one I got x square minus 8x plus 7 is equals to 0. So in here 7, 7, 1 is 7. So x square minus 7x minus x plus 7 is equals to 0. Yes, this is splitting the middle term. x common x minus 7 minus 1 common x minus 7 is equals to 0. So this will be x minus 1 x minus 7 is equals to 0. So either either x minus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 7 equals to 0. So from here you will get x is equals to 1, x is equals to 7. So now, now when x is equals to 1, y is equals to, y what I have taken? y is equals to 8 minus x taken. So 8 minus 1 is equals to, uh, y is equals to 7. Again, Again, when x is equals to 7, then y is equals to 8 minus 7, y is equals to 1, you will get. Therefore, the required solutions. Therefore, the required solutions are, are, what? x1, then y7, 1 comma 7, and then x7, then y1. This is our required solution. Let me check the back answer. This one, you see, 1, 7, 7, 1. Understand? 1771. Okay. Next, I will go to question number 4. This one only in here. Again, nothing there. Uh, you do one thing. Question number 4, you try to do by yourself. I am going to question number 5. Okay. Question number 4, it is same only. X minus 3Y is equals to 1. X square minus 5XY plus 2Y square plus 2 is equals to 0. Okay. So now in here this is x minus 3y is equals to 1. This is minus 3y is equals to 1 minus x. 3y will be is equals to x minus 1. y will be x minus 1 by 3. Now x square minus 5xy plus 2y square plus 2 is equals to 0 there. Uh, now in here you see. Uh, this is x square minus uh, 3y. Mm. Okay, let's put it in this one, this one equation 1. This one I will put it in here. So this will be x square minus 5 into x into x minus 1 by 3 uh, plus 2 into x minus 1 by 3 the whole square plus 2 is equals to 0. So this one I will get um, x square minus 5 by 3 uh, into this will be x square minus x plus 2 by uh, sorry 2 by 9 x minus 1 the whole square plus 2 is equals to 0 so this is x square minus 5 by 3 x square plus 5 by 3 x plus 2 by 9 this one it will be x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 2 is equals to 0. Again this is um, x square minus 5 by 3x square plus 5 by 3x plus 2 by 9 x square minus 4x by 9 plus 2 by 9 plus 2 is equals to 0. Now in here uh, this one you see x square minus 5 by 3 x square plus 2 by 9 x square plus 5 by 3 x minus 4 x by 9 plus 2 by 9 plus 2 is equals to 0. So this one uh, if I take the LCM 3 and 9 LCM will be 3 only. Uh, sorry 9 only. 
9. So this is 9x square minus 15x square plus 2x square plus again in here uh, 9 LCM. So 15x minus 4x plus this is 9, 2 plus 18 is equals to 0. So now uh, this one, uh, this one. If I solve it, nine nine plus two is eleven minus fifteen uh, plus eleven minus four x square plus nine plus this one. It will be eleven x by nine twenty by nine is equals to zero. This is nine four x square plus eleven x plus twenty is equals to zero. So ultimately, this one I am doing it in here. Okay, this side I am doing. So this one I got. Uh, minus 4x square plus 11x plus 20 is equals to 0 9 if I sent it that side then is equals to 0 only I will get now this one minus common I will take 4x square minus 11x minus 20 is equals to 0 so this is 4x square minus 11x minus 20 is equals to 0 now this one 2 42 22 10 2 5 5 1 uh, 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so this is 4 x square minus 16 x plus 5 x minus 20 is equals to 0 4 x common 4 uh, sorry 4 x common x minus 4 and then plus 5 common x minus 4 is equals to 0 4x plus 5 into x minus 4 is equals to 0 so in here I will get either either 4x plus 5 is equals to 0 or x minus 4 is equals to 0 I will get understand so ultimately in here x value what I will get x value I will get minus 5 by 4 understand x value minus 5 by 4 or x value Four I will get x value minus five by four or x value four I will get finished. So now this this values of x I will put it in will uh, this one equation one okay. So now when when x is equals to when x x is equals to what minus five by four yes when x is equals to minus five by four y is equals to y it is x minus one by three so y it is when x is equals to minus 5 by 4 okay let's see uh, minus 5 by 4 minus 1 by 3 this was there no x minus 1 by yes okay so now this is y is equals to 4 lcm minus 5 minus 4 by 3 there so this is y is equals to minus 9 by 12 okay y is equals to minus 9 by 12 again Again when x is equals to again when x is equals to what? Again when x is equals to 4, y is equals to 4 minus 3 by 3. So this will be y is equals to 1 by 3. So therefore the required solutions, therefore the required solutions are required solutions are minus 5 by 4, comma minus 9 by 12, comma 4, comma 1 by 3. These are the required solutions understand let me check the back answer so this one question number five you see question number five oh sorry this is four minus one x minus one by three only so this is four minus one by three so this will be three by three y is equals to one i will get so this is 4 comma 1 okay 4 comma 1 and this is you see this one y is equals to minus uh, 9, 9 by 12 coming so I can cut if I cut it I will get minus 3 by 4 understand so this one I can write it as minus 3 by 4 okay minus 3 by 4 this one you see back answer uh, 4 4 1 yes 4 1 and uh, and next one it is minus 5 by 4 minus 3 by 4 yes minus 5 by 4 minus 3 by 4 and 4 comma 1 understand so next you see question number 8 so this one our question number 8 x plus y 
plus root over xy is equal to 20 and x square plus y square plus xy is equal to 336. So solution. So in here I will, uh, this one you say x square plus y square plus 2xy is equal to 336. This one you see I can write it as, uh, uh, sorry, xy, sorry. This one I can write it as x square plus y square <coughs> plus 2xy minus xy is equal to 336. Okay. So uh, in here you see this part x square plus y, y square plus 2xy this becomes x plus y the whole square minus xy is equal to 336. Now this part x plus y the whole square this one I can write it as root x y the whole square is equals to 336 this is a square minus b square formula this will be x plus y plus root over x y into x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 336 now you see this value it is already given here understand this value it is already given here so I will put it in here 28 into x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 336 now x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 336 by 28 so x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 336 divided by 28 13 minus 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 28, 2, 2, 56. So this is 12, I believe. Now in here, first of all, let me write this equation. Okay, this one, x plus y plus root over x, y equals to 28. We will give this equation number 2. Okay, and uh, this one, uh, sorry, this one I will give it equation number 1. Understand? And next one, which is this one, I will give it equation number 2. Okay, this one I will give it equation number 2. Now what I will do, equation 1 plus 2 I will do. So this is x plus y plus root over xy, x plus y minus root over xy uh, is equals to 28 plus 12. So this will be 2 bracket start x plus y is equals to 28 plus 12. This is 3, 4, 40 I will get. So this is x plus y is equals to, I will get 20. Yes, x plus y is equals to, I will get 20. So y is equals to 20 minus x. Okay. And this is our equation number 3. Now this y value, I will put it in this equation. Okay. This y value, I, I will put it in this equation. So now... Now you see this is our x square plus y square plus xy. Y value it is 20 minus x. Yes, y value 20 minus x. So x square plus 20 minus x the whole square plus x into 20 minus x is equals to 336. Now in here x square plus 20 square minus 2 into 20 into x plus x square plus 20x minus x square is equal to 336 in here x square x square cut so this one how much will get this one you see x square this will be minus 40x plus 20x plus 20 square this will be 400 is equals to 336 so ultimately this is x square minus 20x plus 400 minus 336 is equals to 0 so this is x square minus 20x 400 minus 336 10 minus 6 4 9 minus 3 6 so this will be plus 64 is equals to 0 now splitting the middle term if I do 32 to 16 to 8 to 4 to 2 to 1 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 uh, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 
and also this is 16 plus 4 I will do x square minus 16x minus 4x plus 64 is equals to 0 x common x minus 16 minus 4 common x minus 16 is equals to 0 so this is x minus 4 x minus 16 is equals to 0 either either x minus 4 is equals to 0 or x minus 16 is equals to 0 so therefore x is equals to 4 or x is equals to 16 I will get finished now when x is equals to when x is equals to 4 when x is equals to 4 y is equals to what become 20 minus x there no so this is y is equals to 20 minus 4 so in here y is equals to 16 I got again again when x is equals to 16 yes x is equals to 16 y is equals to 20 minus 16 so y is equals to 4 I will get so therefore the required therefore the required solutions are required solutions are 4 comma 16 16 comma 4 understand 4 comma 16 16 comma 4 let me check the back answer this one you see 4 16 uh, 16 4 4 16 understand so in here what I will do first of all I will write this one this equation I will write it okay this equation I will write it this is equation 2 and I will start from the second equation understand from this equation I will start now this equation I can write it as like that this is xy there so plus 2xy minus xy I can write uh, and this this one you see x square plus y square plus 2xy this is the formula of a plus b the whole square in this case x plus y the whole square minus xy into 336 xy I can write it as root over xy the whole square so this is a square minus b square formula I will break it and this one I can write it in here from equation 1 okay from equation 1 understand this is value 28 given so ultimately this one 12 I will get this is equation 2 equation 1 plus 2 I will get then x plus y is equals to 20 y is equals to 20 minus x this one equation number 3 and then again now I will start it from the second equation understand I will start it from the uh, second equation okay in there uh, y value I will put it and then x value I will find out okay so when x is equals to 4 y is equals to this one equation 3 I will put it when x equals to 4 y equals to 16 again when x equals to 16 y equals to 4 so therefore the required solutions are these two understand next time going to question number your 9 okay next time going to question number 9 this one you see question number 9 question number 9 it is same as question number 8 x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 6 x square plus y square plus x y is equals to 84 so in here solution again this one you see x square let me first write this one x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 6 this is equation 1 and x square plus y square plus x y is equals to 84 this one another equation you assign it equation 2 okay now from equation 2 uh, I will start from equation 2 here remember x square plus y square plus x y is equals to 84 now x square plus y square x y I can write it as 2 x y minus x y is equals to 84 up till here the formula is x plus y the whole square and this one I can write it as root over x y the whole square is equals to 84 now this is in the form of a square minus b square formula so this one I can write it as x plus y plus root over x y into x plus y minus root over x y is equals to 84. Now this value, uh, sorry this one, this value x plus y minus root over x y this is from equation 1 it is 6. So I will get 6 into x plus y plus root over x y is equals to 84. So this is x plus y plus root over x y is equals to 84 by 6 ultimately I will get root over x y is equals to 6 this is 84 6 1 is 6 24 6 4 is 24 14 I will get and this is our equation number 3 now I will do equation 1 plus 3 so what I will get equation 1 plus 3 x plus y minus root over x y plus x plus y plus root over x y is equals to 6 plus 14 
so this is ultimately I will get two bracket start x plus y is equals to 20 x plus y is equals to 10 so y is equals to 10 minus x and this is our equation number 4 okay so now uh, this one you see y value I got y value I got now this y value I will put it in the second equation Okay, now from equation 2 From equation 2 what is our second equation here x square plus y square plus xy is equals to 84 This one I will put it in here y value it is 10 minus x so this is x square or you can write okay putting the value of y in equation 2 you can write it in this way uh, this was 10 minus x is yes. 10 minus x the whole square plus x into 10 minus x is equals to 84 okay now this is x square plus 10 square minus 2 into 10 into x plus x square plus 10x minus x square is equals to 84 so x square x square cut uh, x square minus 20x plus 10x plus 100 10 square it will be 100 is equals to 84 so this is x square minus 20 uh, sorry x square minus 20x plus 10x it will be minus 10x plus 100 minus 84 is equals to 0 I will bring it in the form of quadratic equation okay x square minus 10x plus 100 minus 84 10 minus 4 it is 6 1 16 is equals to 0 now 16 prime factorization 2 is 16 2 4 is 8 2 2 is 2 1 is 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 8 plus 2 I will get 10 so x square minus 8x minus 2x plus 16 is equals to 0 x common x minus 8 minus 2 common x minus 8 is equals to 0 so this will be x minus 2 x minus 8 is equals to 0 so in here I can say either x minus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 8 equals to 0 so this will be x equals to 2 x equals to 8 understand so now now when x equals to 2 y equals to 10 minus 2 so y equals to 8 again again when x equals to 8 y equals to 10 minus 8 y equals to 2 so therefore you can write the required solutions are 2 comma 8 8 comma 2 let me check the back answer 2 comma 8 8 comma 2 this one you say 2 comma 8 8 comma 2 okay next I will go to question number this one 10 here Question number 10 saying that root over x by y plus root over y by x equals to 10 by 3 and x plus y is equals to 10. So first of all you write both the equations and uh, this one uh, assign it. Okay, equation 1, equation 2 in this way. First of all x plus, let me take this one. Root over x by y plus root over y by x uh, is equals to 10 by 3. Uh, this is our equation 1 and again x plus y is equals to 10 this is our equation number 2 now from equation 2 from equation 2 x plus y is equals to 10 y is equals to 10 minus x and this is our equation number 3 okay this is our equation number 3 so now uh, now what I can do is that uh, y equals to 10 minus 3 I got so now this is x by y plus root over y by x is equals to 10 by 3 uh, this one let me do this one you see uh, and this one I can write it as root x by root y plus root y by root x is equals to 10 by 3 let's take LCM it will be root xy and in here it will be root x the whole square root y the whole square is equals to 10 by 3 
So this will be x plus y by root over xy is equals to 10 by 3. If I do cross multiplication, 3x plus 3y is equals to 10 root over xy. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this one over root over xy then. Okay, so in here, okay, this one I got now. Let's put the value of y in here. Okay, y it, it is 10 minus x. Let me put it in here 3x plus 3 into 10 minus x is equals to 10 root over x into 10 minus x. Finished now 3x plus 30 minus 3x is equals to 10 root over this is 10x minus x square. Finish this is 10x minus x square. Okay. Now this one and this one gone. So ultimately I am doing it in the corner. Okay. So ultimately this one I am getting 30 is equals to 10 root over 10x minus x square. Yes. 10x minus x square I am getting. So 10 if I bring it in this side left hand side ultimately I will get 3 is equals to root over 10x minus x square. Squaring both side if I do this will be 9 and this will be 10x minus x square. Now this whole thing I can write it as x minus x square plus 10x minus 9 is equals to 0 and minus common take then x square minus 10x plus 9 is equals to 0. So ultimately this will be x square minus 10x plus 9 equals to 0. This one I Finished. Now in here you see this is the equation I got. This is x square minus 10x plus 9 equals to 0. 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. This is our, okay. So this one what I will do. x square minus 9x minus x plus 9 is equals to 0. x common, x minus 9 minus 1, x minus 9 is equals to 0. So this is x minus 1, x minus 9 is equals to 0. Either, either x minus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 9 equals to 0. So this will be x is equals to 1, x is equals to 9. Finished x is equals to 1 or uh, x is equals to 9. Now, now this value, x value, I will put it in equation number 3. Okay, x value, I will put it in equation number 3. So now y is equals to equation number 3 it was uh, 10 minus x yes it was 10 minus x. So this is y equals to it will be uh, now when when x is equals to 1 y equals to 10 minus 1 y equals to 9 again again when x is equals to 9 y is equals to 10 minus 9 y is equals to 1. So therefore the required solutions are 1 comma 9, 9 comma 1. This is my answer. Let me check the back answer. 1, 9. Uh, question number 10. Question number 10. Back answer 2882 eight, there. 2882 eight, eight, there. Question number 10. This is, I think, they have uh, question number 9 and 10. They are matching the back answer. Okay, this will be 1991. One. Understand? Back answer, there is mistake there. Okay, so in here you see one time again. This one you take it as equation 1 and this one you take it as equation 2. From equation 2, y value you take it out. This will be equation 3. And from equation 1, this one as usual LCM you take okay LCM you take and go ultimately you will get this quadratic equation. This quadratic equation if you solve it by splitting the middle term x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 9 you will get. From this x value again you put it in equation number 3 okay again x value you put it in equation number 3 which was y is equals to 10 minus x y is equals to 9 you will get and again for x is equals to 9 again you put the value of x in equation 3 y is equals to 1 you will get. So therefore the required solutions are 1 comma 9 and 9 comma 1. So question number 12 you see x plus y is equals to p plus q and p by x plus q by y is equals to 2. So solution. 
x plus y is equals to p plus q this will be equation 1 and p by x plus q by y is equals to 2 this will be equation 2 now from equation 2 p by x plus q by y is equals to 2 this one p by x this whole thing I can write as this is 1 plus 1 I can write and if I bring it to left hand side q by y minus 1 is equals to 0 ok so now this is LCM p minus x plus y q minus y is equals to 0 you, know, you see one thing from equation 1 uh, and this one this one it is there equation 1 Uh, from equation uh, 1 let me do one thing before starting equation 2 before starting equation 2 I will take equation 1 okay before starting I will take equation 1 from equation 1 from equation 1 x plus y is equals to p plus q so this one uh, uh, this so this whole thing you say x plus y minus p minus q is equals to 0 so this one I can write it as uh, this is x minus p plus y minus q is equals to 0 ok uh, so now x minus p is equals to minus y minus q from here if I take um, uh, this one you see from here if I take minus common then p minus x minus y minus q p minus x is equals to I will get y minus q okay p minus uh, x is equals to I will get y minus q this one I will give as uh, equation number uh, this one I will give as equation number 3 okay this one I will first of all I will find it out this one I will give equation number 3 now I will start from equation 2 from equation 2 okay now I will start first of all I will find out this one p minus x is equals to y minus q this one I will find out and now then I will go to equation number 2 okay remember p by x plus q by y is equals to 2 so this one p by x minus 1 plus q by y minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is x p minus x plus y q minus y is equals to 0 so uh, this one you see uh, this one you see in place of p minus x I can write y minus q y minus q by x plus uh, from here you see from here I will take minus common ok minus common then I will get again y minus q only I will get by y is equals to 0 so now from here I can take um, uh, from here I can take y minus q common then inside I will get 1 um, uh, 1 by x minus 1 by y is equals to 0 so this is y minus q this is xy uh, sorry y minus x I will get is equals to 0 uh, y minus uh, x is equals to 0 I am getting mm, so now now I can say that either uh, this one let me do one thing this line no need ok from here only I will start either y minus q is equals to 0 or 1 by x minus 1 by y is equals to 0 so this one y is equals to q I will get or this one 1 by x equals to 1 by y I will get so ultimately this is I will get x equals to y yes x equals to uh, y finished now x equals to uh, y I will get ok so uh, now now when y is equals to q ok when y is equals to q um, this is uh, x equals to y I got 
so in here uh, um, okay when y is equals to q Okay, when y is equals to q, this is this was our equation one. Yes or no? This was our equation one. So uh, in here it was x plus q is equals to p plus q. So this is x is equals to p. I will get. Okay, when y is equals to q, x equals to uh, p. I will get. Understand? Again, again when this is y is equals to x again when y is equals to x then what I will get here from equation 1 only okay this one from equation 1 uh, uh, this is uh, y plus y is equals to p plus q I will get twice y is equals to p plus q uh, sorry when uh, y is sorry when y is equals to x, x plus x is equals to p plus q. So 2x is equals to p plus q, x is equals to p plus q by 2. Understand? x is equals to p plus q by um, 2. Uh, so this one x equals to this one I got. So again, therefore, y is equals to also p plus q by 2 only I will get. Understand? y is equals to p plus q by 2 only I will get. Uh, since x is equals to y okay since x is equals to y so therefore the required solution therefore the required solution it will be pq pq and p plus q by 2 p plus q by 2 understand required solution pq and p plus q by 2 and p plus q by 2 this one you see pq P plus Q by 2, P plus Q by 2. This question I am doing one more time. You check it. Okay. I am doing one more time. This one you see question number 12. Question number 12 here. It is given that X plus Y is equals to P plus Q. P by X plus Q by Y is equals to 2. So first of all, this is X plus Y is equals to P plus Q equation 1 p by x plus q by y equals to 2 and this is our equation 2 from equation 1 from equation 1 x plus y is equals to p plus q so this one what I will do here um, uh, this one uh, x I will send it that side and q I will bring it this side so y minus q is equals to p minus x I will get okay uh, p minus uh, x i will get wait a minute in here what i have done or oh, this on this side okay no problem uh, p minus x is equals to this one i got and this will be equation number three understand this will be equation number three and um, now from equation two now from equation two p by x plus q by y is equals to two i am getting here okay is equals to two i am getting here so this one I can write as p by x minus 1 by q by y minus 1 is equals to 0. So this one if I take LCM, p minus x plus this is y, q minus y is equals to 0 I will get. Okay, so next you see, uh, I will get uh, p minus x by x, this one in here minus common I will take, then I will get this one y minus q by y uh, is equals to 0 p minus x value it is y minus q so y minus q by x minus y minus q by y is equals to 0 so y minus q common take then 1 by x minus 1 by y is equals to 0 I will get so from here I can say that either y minus q is equals to 0 or 1 by x minus 1 by y is equals to 0 so this is y is equals to q 1 by x is equals to 1 by y okay so uh, y is equals to q I got uh, and from here from here I will get that x is equals to y finished so 
uh, now when when y is equals to q when y is equals to q x value i will put it in equation 1 understand this will become x plus q is equals to p plus q so this is x is equals to p i will get again uh, again uh, when um, again when this is uh, y is equals to x again when y is equals to x uh, this is I, again I will put it in equation 1 understand in place of y equals to x so this is I can in place of y I can write x so this is x plus x is equals to p plus q twice x is equals to p plus q so this is ultimately x is equals to p plus q by 2 you will get okay x is equals to p plus q by uh, 2 you will get so therefore y is equals to also this will be p plus q by 2 since x equals to y understand so therefore you can say the required solution therefore the required solution uh, the required solutions are required solutions are uh, this is pq yes pq comma uh, p plus q by 2 comma p plus q by 2 this is our solution okay this one you remember next time going to question number uh, 13 okay question number 13 this is 1 by x plus 1 by y is equals to 3 by 2 1 by x square plus 1 by y square is equals to 5 by 4. 1 by x plus 1 by y is equals to 3 by 2. This one I will take equation 1. And 1 by x square plus 1 by y square is equals to 5 by 4. This one I will take equation 2. Now from equation 1 from equation 1 this is 1 by x plus 1 by y is equals to 3 by 2 so uh, in here this is LCM will be x y x plus y is equals to 3 by 2 x plus y is equals to 3 by 2 x y this is our equation number 3 okay from from equation 2 1 by x square plus 1 by y square is equals to 5 by 4. So now this is x square y square x square plus y square is equals to 5 by 4. x square plus y square is equals to 5 by 4 x square y square. Uh, and now in here you see this one x square y square I can write as x plus y the whole square minus 2xy okay this one I can write it in this way x plus y value I have got this one I will put it in here okay so this is I will get x plus y value it is 3 by 2xy so this is 3 by 2xy uh, uh, the whole square minus 2xy let me see one time minus 2xy plus 5 by 4x square y square e is equals to 5 by 4x square y square so this one it will be 9 by 4x square y square minus 2xy is equals to 5 by 4x square y square um, okay So uh, now 9 by 4 x square y square this is minus 5 by 4 x square y square minus 2 x y is equals to 0. So this one 9 by 4 minus 5 by 4 this is ultimately I will get 4 by 4 x square y square minus 2 x y is equals to 0. So this is x square y square minus 2 x y is equals to 0 this one it will be x square y square is equals to 2xy so this will be xy is equals to 2 so y is equals to 2 by x I will get and this is our equation number 4 okay y is equals to 2 by x you will get now this value of y I will put it in equation 3 
okay now equation 3 it was saying x plus y uh, from equation 3 x plus y is equals to 3 by 2 x y yes so x plus 2 by x is equals to 3 by 2 x into 2 by x so this is x x square plus 2 is equals to in here x x cut 2 2 cut is equals to 3 so this is ultimately x square plus 2 is equals to 3x x square minus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0 x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 is equals to 0 so this is x comma x minus 2 minus 1 comma x minus 2 is equals to 0 so this is ultimately I got this is x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equals to 0 so either either this is x minus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0 so this is x equals to 1 x equals to 2 I will get understand x equals to 1 or x equals to 2 I will get now I will take when x equals to 1 yes when x, x equals to 1 y is equals to this is 2 there no so 2 by 1 that means ultimately 2 I will get and then when x equals to 2 y equals to 2 by x there so this will be 2 by 2 which is ultimately 1 I will get understand so therefore the required solutions are I am writing it in here therefore the required solutions are when x is 1 y is 2 so this is 1 comma 2 and when uh, this one now when x is 2 y is 1 so this is 2 comma 1 understand 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 okay these are the required solutions one time again I am explaining from the beginning so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 equation 1 I will take and x plus y value I will take it out now from equation 2 this one uh, I will get and x plus uh, y value I will put it in here so ultimately I got y is equals to 2 by x understand now this y value I will put it in equation 3 ok I will put it in equation 3 and x value I will get it understand x value uh, I will get ok uh, x value I will get when x value I will get these x values I will put it in equation number 4 and y values I will find it understand from there I will get the required solutions ok next one again question number question number 14 yes question number 14 you see this is a by x plus b by y is equals to 2 there and a square by x square plus b square by y square is equals to 2 there ok solution so in here again this one I am getting you see a by x plus b by y is equals to 2 this is equation 1 and a square by x square plus b square by y square is equals to 2 and this is equation number 2 understand now from equation 1 from equation 1 this is a by x plus b by y is equals to 2 there uh, so from here um, a by x plus b y y is equals to uh, 2 there ok so in here let me do in this way I will take equation 2 ok for first equation 2 I will take so uh, equation 2 I will take so this one you see a square by x square plus b square by y square is equals to 2 there yes now this one I can write a by x the whole square plus b by y the whole square is equals to 2 now this one a by x uh, plus b by y the whole square minus 2 into a by x into b by y is equals to 2 I can do a by x plus b y y this is value it is 2 there so this will be 2 square minus 2 into a b by x y is equals to 2 I will get this is 4 minus 2 a b by x y is equals to 2 there so uh, this one 2 4 if I sent it that side minus 2 a b by x y is equals to minus 2 I will get so 
this will be a b by x y is equals to uh, one I will get okay a b by x y is equals to one I will get so a b is equals to x y I am getting understand a b is equals to x y I am getting and from there y value if I find y is equals to I will get a b by x yes y is equals to I will get a b by x uh, uh, now this y value this one I will give equation number 3 and this y value I will put it in equation 1 okay from from equation 1 this is our a b by x plus uh, sorry a by x plus b by this is b by y value what I got y value I got a b by x a b by x is equals to 2 so now a by x plus x b by a b is equals to 2 I will get in here this one cut a by x plus x by a is equals to 2 I am getting so in here you see this 2 I can write it as a by x minus 1 plus x by a minus 1 is equals to 0 uh, this one x a ok wait wait let me do in this way this one there, no, this one if I take LCM I will get AX and this will be A square plus X square is equals to 2. So this is A square plus X square is equals to twice AX. A square plus, uh, A square if I bring this one in here, A square minus twice AX plus X square is equals to 0. So this is A minus X the whole square is equals to 0. So this one I will get this whole thing I can write as x minus a the whole square is equals to 0 ok so this one in here I can write x minus a into x minus a is equals to 0 so in here either either x minus a is equals to 0 or x minus a is equals to 0 so in here x is equals to a x is equals to a I got finished x is equals to a x is equals to a I got so now now when x is equals to a x is equals to a y will be what y will be a b by a yes or no so when x is equals to a y is equals to a b by a so in here y is equals to b i will get and when again x is equals to a y is equals to a b by a y is equals to b i will get so therefore the required solution i'm writing it in here therefore the required solution when x is a b is uh, y is b so a b again a b a b these are the required solutions understand you can write it a b comma a b this one you say a b comma a b understand one time again i am showing you uh, this one you see a by x plus b y y is equals to 2 there a square by x square plus b square by y square is equals to 2 there from equation 2 i will go now this is a square plus b square from there i can write it as a plus b the whole square minus twice a b so ultimately i will get a b is equals to x y from their y value I can find it which is y is equals to a b by x okay and then I will go to equation 1 and y value I will put it in here ultimately I will get this one LCM I will take this one that side sign so this is ultimately x minus a minus x the whole square is equals to 0 which I can write it as x minus a the whole square is equals to 0 common taken ultimately square there so positive only become this one x minus a into x minus a is equal to 0 so either x minus a equal to 0 or x minus a equal to 0 this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 so x is equal to a x is equal to a so when x is equal to a y is equal to b this one in equation 3 you put again when x equals to a y equals to b you will get so therefore the required solutions are a b comma a b next you see this is question number uh, 17 3 to the power x is equal to 9 y and 5 to the power x plus y plus 1 is equals to 25 uh, to the power x y there ok so in here this is 3 to the power x is equals to 9 y which I can write 3 to the power x is equals to 3 square to the whole power y so this is 3 to the power x is equals to 3 to the power 2 y ultimately x is equals to 2 y I will get ok x is equals to 2 y this is equation uh, 1 uh, now again this one you see 5 to the power x plus y plus 1 is equals to 25 I can write 5 square to the whole power x y so this is 5 to the power x plus y plus 1 is equals to 5 to the power 2 x y 
x plus y plus 1 is equals to 2xy so this one in here uh, this one in here I will get uh, okay so in here let, let me put the value of x here okay x is equals to 2y given 2y plus y plus 1 is equals to 2 into 2y into y so this will be 3y plus 1 is equals to 4y square so this whole thing I can write it as 4y square minus 3y minus 1 is equals to 0 okay so now in here this is uh, 4 2 2 2 1 so this is 4y square minus 4y plus y minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is 4y uh, y minus 1 plus 1 y minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is 4 minus uh, 4y plus 1 y minus 1 is equals to 0 I will get yes so therefore y is equals to minus 1 by 4 I will get y is equals to 1 I will get understand so now now when when y is equals to minus 1 by 4 x is equals to what 2y there no x is equals to 2 into minus 1 by 4 which is ultimately x is equals to you will get minus 1 by 2 understand again again uh, when x uh, sorry again when y is equals to 1 you will get x is equals to 2 into 1 so x is equals to 2 you will get okay so therefore the required solutions it will be what minus 1 by 2 comma 1 by 4 and uh, again uh, 2 and 1 you will get yes or no 2 and 1 you will get okay minus 1 by 4 minus uh, minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 and 2 comma 1 you will get let me check the back end sir uh, yes 2 comma 1 this one you see and 2 comma 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 you will get okay next I will do next I will do question number 18 a to the power x y is equals to 2 to the power x minus 1 3 to the power y plus 8 is equals to 9 to the power 5 y plus x this is there okay so this one 8 to the power x y is equals to 2 to the power x minus 1 8 I can write as 2 to the power 3 x y is equals to 2 to the power x minus 1 2 to the power 3 x y is equals to 2 to the power x minus 1 so this is 3 x y is equals to x minus 1 finished so now in here 3 x y minus x is equals to minus 1 x common 3 y minus 1 is equals to minus 1 so x is equals to minus 1 by 3 y minus 1 this is our equation number 1 okay uh, now again this one you see 3 to the power y plus 8 is equals to 9 to the power 5 y plus x so this is 3 to the power y plus 8 is equals to 3 square to the whole power 5 y plus x so this is 3 to the power y plus 8 is equals to 3 to the power 10 y plus 2 x so in here y plus 8 is equals to 10 y plus 2 x you will get okay now uh, this is y minus 10 y uh, plus 8 is equals to 2 x so this is I will get 9 y plus 8 is equals to 2 x now x value I have taken out now so this one I will put it in here okay minus 9 y plus 8 is equals to uh, this is 2 into minus 1 by minus 1 by 3y minus 8 I will get okay 3y minus uh, 8 I will get finished now uh, x value is this one so this one I am rubbing it in here this one I will have to solve it now so this is in here minus 9y plus 8 is equals to minus 2 by 3y minus 1 I am getting if I do uh, cross multiplication here 9y plus 8 into 3y minus 1 is equals to minus 2 so this is minus uh, 9y 3y minus 1 plus 8 3y minus 1 is equals to minus 2 this is minus 27y square plus 9y plus 24y minus 8 is equals to minus 2 so now in here minus 27y square plus 24 plus uh, 24 plus 
I will get 33y. Yes, 33y minus 8 plus 2 is equals to 0. So, minus 27y square plus 33y minus 6 is equals to 0. So, from here, minus 3 common, then 9y square plus 11y, uh, uh, sorry, minus 11y plus 2 is equals to 0, I will get. So, this is 9y square minus 11y plus 2 is equals to 0. Now, 9 to the 18, this one 2 9s are 3 3s are 3 1s are. Yes, 3 1s uh, I will get. So, this is 3 3 is a 9 and 9 plus 2, 11 I will get. So, this one, x value it is minus 1 by 3 y minus 1. Okay. So, this one I will get. This one if I do splitting the middle term, okay. This is if I do the splitting the middle term 9y square minus 9y minus 2y plus 2 is equals to 0. So this is minus, uh, sorry, 9y common, y minus 1 minus 2 common, y, y minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is 9y minus 2 into y minus 1 is equals to 0. So in here y value I will get 2 by 9 and y value I will get 1. Yes. So when uh, this one you see when y is equals to 2 by 9 x is equals to what become x value was minus 1 by 3 y minus 9 yes minus 1 by 3 y minus 1 so this one 3 into 2 by 9 minus 1 ultimately minus 1 by this is 3 3 is a 9 2 by 3 I will get let me do the solution in here uh, minus 1 by 3 into 2 by 9 minus 1 there this is 3 3 is a 9 so minus 1 by 2 by 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 2 minus 3 so this is minus 3 by minus 1 ultimately 3 I will get understand this is x is equals to 3 I will get again again when y is equals to 1 then x is equals to it will become minus 1 by 3 into 1 minus 1 I will get okay so in here this is x is equals to minus 1 by this is 3 minus 1 I will get 3 into 1 minus 1 uh, which is this one I will get 2 yes uh, 2 I will get so therefore uh, the required solutions will be when a, uh, y equals to 2 by 9 x equals to 3 so 3 comma 2 by 9 and when x equals to minus 1 by 2 y equals to 1 understand this one let me see the back answer 3 comma 2 by 9 minus 1 comma 1 okay you can check the back and set this one is done. Next you see. Next it is our question number. Next it is our question number 19. X to the power 1 by 3 plus Y to the power 1 by 3 is equals to 3. X plus Y is equals to 9 there. Okay. X plus Y is equals to uh, 9 there. So in here. Uh, let me take x to the power 1 by 3 plus y to the power 1 by 3 is equals to uh, is equals to 3 so this one let me take first of all this equation x plus y is equals to 9 y is equals to 9 minus x equation 1 and uh, now now x to the power 1 by 3 plus y to the power 1 by 3 is equals to 3 there so this is x to the power 1 by 3 plus y to the power 1 by 3 cubing both side I will do. This is 27 become. So this is x 1 by 3 to the whole power 3 plus y 1 by 3 to the whole power 3 uh, plus 3 into x 1 by 3 into 1 by 3. Uh, 1 by 3 plus y to the power 1 by 3 is equals to 27. So this is x plus y plus uh, this one 3 to the power into a 1 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 and this one value it is 3 there this is equals to 27 so now uh, uh, in here okay so this is x plus y value what given 9 minus x that one I will put it 9 minus x plus uh, this one you see it becomes 9 uh, x y I can write x y to the whole power 1 by 3 is equals to 27 so in here this one this one cut uh, this this one 9 I will send it that side so 9 x y to the whole power 1 by 3 is equals to 27 minus 9 
okay uh, 27 minus 9 I will get this is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 1 uh, 18 I am getting okay this one 18 I am getting so this is x y to the whole power 1 by 3 is equals to 18 by 9 okay so this is x y to the whole power 1 by 3 is equals to 2 I will get understand is equals to uh, 2 I will get now what I will do you see what I got x y to the whole power 1 by 3 is equals to 2 I got now again cubing both side I will do 1 by 3 to the whole power 3 is equals to 2 cube finished so this is x y is equals to 8 I will get again y value what I have taken 9 minus x I will put it in here 9 minus x is equals to 8 so this is 9x minus x square is equals to 8 minus x square um, plus 9x minus 8 is equals to 0 so ultimately this one minus uh, this is our minus common take x square minus 9x plus 8 is equals to 0 so this is x square minus 9x plus uh, 8 is equals to 0 so this one 8 2 4 are 2 2 are 2 1 are 2 2 are 4 uh, 4 to the 8 there so this is x square minus 8x minus x plus 8 is equals to 0 x common x minus 9 minus 1 common x minus minus 1 common x minus 8 is equals to 0 x minus 1 into x minus 8 is equals to 0 so in here x is equals to 1 I will get x is equals to 8 I will get understand so now in here you see ok now these values of x I will put it in equation when x is equals to 1 y is equals to 9 minus 1 uh, is equals to 8 I will get again when x is equals to 8 y is equals to 9 minus 8 is equals to 1 you will get so therefore the required solutions are 1 comma 8 and 8 comma 1 this is your answer ok so this one you see question number 20 okay this is the last question of this exercise find the coordinates of the point at which x axis and y axis intersect the curves uh, represented by the following equations okay so means this is an equation given now this equation if you plot it on a graph you will get a curve okay you will get a curve and this curve cuts the y axis and the x axis those coordinate points I will have to find at which the curves intersects the axis okay x axis and y axis so now you see uh, at x axis okay when this curve will cut the x axis that intersecting point okay understand when the curve will intersect the x axis okay that on that intersecting point y coordinate will be 0 yes y coordinate will be 0 so y at x axis y equals to 0 this y value if you put it in this equation then this whole equation reduces to this one this one splitting the middle term with I found the value of x x is equals to 1 and x is equals to minus 3 by 2 ok now Next I will write the coordinates of the points at which the curve intersects the x axis are it will be 1 comma 0 and minus 3 by 2 comma 0 you see 1 comma 0 minus 3 by 2 comma 0 and at x axis y coordinate becomes 0 sorry uh, at y axis x coordinate becomes 0 yes at y axis x coordinate becomes 0 now this value of x if I put it in the original equation y value this uh, that original equation reduces to this quadratic equation now with splitting the middle term I will find the value of y ok so y is equals to minus 1 and y equals to 3 I got so therefore the coordinates of the points where the curve intersects the y axis are it will be 0 comma minus 1 and 0 comma 3 understand that much only again nothing ok at x axis y coordinate become 0 this value you put it in this equation this whole equation reduces to a quadratic equation 
you find the uh, roots of this quadratic equation by the help of this one I am doing splitting the middle term so x is equals to 1 x is equals to minus 3 by 2 you will get so therefore the coordinates of the point at which the curve intersects the x axis are uh, 1 comma 0 minus 3 by 2 comma 0 and at y axis x becomes 0 you put the value of uh, this x in the original equation okay in this equation you put it and so this whole equation it reduces to this quadratic equation ultimately you will get y equals to minus 1 and y equals to 3 you will get understand this one splitting the middle term I am doing this one you will get so therefore the coordinates of the points where the curve intersects the y axis are this is 0 comma minus 1 and 0 comma 3 this one rest of the problems you try to do by yourself same only okay so with this our uh, this whole quadratic chapter only it is over if you have any doubt you please write it in the comment section I hope you have understood thank you